Mark Adu Amofa scoring the first goal of the afternoon. Located in the greater Accra region of southern Ghana is a town called Ashanti. And the match has just begun. Which was named after his first settler, a Ghana named Ashai. Ashai Mano is a popular business destination due to its large population of 298,841 residents. This area has also produced skilled football players who gained national recognition after growing up in the favelas. Talk of Abu Ijusu, a member of the FIFA Under-17 World Cup Ecuador 95 gold winning team, Abloody Morgan, a tormentor of a striker for Liberty professionals and hats of folk, who went on to win laurels for the club between 2004 to 2007. Former black satellite skipper Kofi Nimo, who was an integral member of Ghana's under-20 winning team in the 1993 FIFA World Youth Championship in Australia, and Michael Okansi, formerly of Great Olympics. In the late 90s, saw a rising star in Colts football named Mark Edu Amofa. He gained popularity while playing for Colts club Young Brazilians at Sakasaka Park in Ashaiman. The club was owned by a pioneer of Ashaiman football, Abdurrahman Numo, who was also known as I See the Man. Born in Accra, Amofa grew up in Ashaiman Zongulaka where he enrolled and started his basic education at a Shaiman No. 2 primary before moving on to Tema Methodist Day Sakenji, popularly known as Medas. In 2000, Amofa's impressive skills in scoring goals made many people believe he would join one of the good clubs in Tema. However, Kod Samade, popularly called the multi-system man, Quixed him from young Brazilians and brought him to Gomwa Feta Feyenoord in the central region where he was fully developed. A year later in 2001, Amofa was loaned to Forzan FC where he played a crucial part in the team's success, helping them qualify to play in the Division 1 league. In 2002, a new life began for the young champ from Ashaiman when he completed a move to Dansuman Bay's Liberty Professionals FC and played under Silas Tete and George Lamte, becoming an instant hit for the scientific soccer lads. During both the 2004 CAF Confederation Cup and the Coca-Cola Top 4 tournament, Amofa became known as the darling boy and won the hearts of Liberty Professionals. He had memorable moments scoring in the CAF Confederation Cup, the Top 4 and the Ghana Premier League for Liberty Professionals FC. After a new coach took over, Edu Amofa, who was once a favourite in Dansuman, was deemed surplus to requirements and relegated to the bench with no playing time like other footballers. This unhappy situation compelled him to seek a new club, eager to continue to do what he loves best. Predictably, Amofa pushed for a loan deal at the end of the first round of the 2005 campaign. In the second round, he joined Al Haji Y.A. Ibrahim's Tamabay's Real Sportive who had sealed top flight football a season earlier in 2004 and was on a mission to build a young, vibrant and flamboyant team. Can pass! We normally ask us all. Sportive is about youth, youth development. So when we came to the group, to the leadership, we are very close with Liberty. So we just spoke to Liberty that we have seen a young boy there whom they are not using. Sportive had a strong team prior to Amofa's arrival. You see, uh, Amofa is a hard working guy. And he came to meet a, a young team too, which he fit in very easily. This way, cut him! And then left! His first With time... your side! Not I, 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 as, as my trainer, I saw that, hey, I have potential is there. I have, I have gotten a boy. 
I, I, I will win. Sparkly, he became the toast of the fans in Tamil. Um, my, my, the best day I, 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 I remind him was against Kotoko. In, at, at my sports center. Kotoko, I've played 49 matches on, on BT. And after 15 minutes, the game was over. Amofo first found the net in that game, but had his goal disallowed. He was not doubted. Minutes after, he fetched another goal and put up a five-star performance as the back line of Kotoko could not stand his pace, skill, and ability to take on defenders. Five minutes time, he, 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 he took the defenders like a jet and bam, it was there. He replicated the same against Hearts of Folk at the Tama Sports Stadium. Following his blistering display at Real Sportive, Mark was invited to the national under-20 team, Black Satellites and the former coach Francis Oti Akinte. I was so much excited to have him on board uh, because those days, it's very rare you can get this type of strikers that can strike when you give him two passes in front of goal. Bet you mean Amofa can score one, so I was much excited. Makedo Amofa had his name on the lips of journalists, fans, and club owners. I would say he is one of the most prolific strikers we've seen in the Ghana local league. He's a player who can dribble, he can also run very fast on the ball, he can, he can score with his head, score with the right leg, score with the left leg. So He's somebody, if you are a goalkeeper, you find it difficult to contain him because you don't know which part of the leg he's going to use to shoot the ball. And, they, and Amofa is a very strong boy who I said uh, has it. He has space, speed, and is courageous to take defenders on 1v1. It was time to let go of Amofa after Sportive could not splash the cash to extend his loan stay. Sly was a, a very good man to us. And he gave the word to us on loan. So after, after the season, he said he wanted to play. It pains us, but hey, that is the rules of the game. I did everything humanly possible, looking at the huge potential that we saw in him. This was the turning point in his career, when Ashanti Gold, led by the then chief executive officer, the famous Kujo Fianu approached Liberty for the services of Amofa. Uh, he came to Obuasi, all right. Uh, we had our discussions, but at, at times it's very difficult when you are competing with the big guys. Rival Asante Kotoko snatched Ijo Amofa at the 11th hour. In 2006, Mark officially joined Asante Kotoko on a three-year deal and was ready to go gun blazing for the Porcupine Warriors. As far as Kotoko was concerned, Edu Amofa never shied away from the heat, the intensity of playing for the club. Uh, it takes very few players and strikers to score goals for Kotoko. So to score 21 in 26 games for them showed a player who had remarkable mental strength the capacity to cope under pressure and to cope with the huge demands that comes from playing for a club like Kotoko. In that year, 2006, I think Kotoko won the league. I think Kotoko played in Africa. And then um, in Africa, during Mark's time, that Kotoko, if I'm not wrong, played in the group stages of Africa. So in 2006, when Mark and Paul took Asano Kotoko to the group stages of the club and the club competition, I mean, it took a very good Playing against teams like Erol Ali of Egypt, CS Farsian of Tunisia, and JS Kabuli of Algeria. Edouard Mofa moved to South Africa for Bloomfield Hang Celtic in 2008, ending his campaign with seven goals in 19 games. A year later, the lethal forward was in the Scandinavian country of Denmark for Shonoiske before moving to Israel to play for Bekta Ramla. He later returned to Liberty Professionals for his second stint. Between 2012 and 2014, he featured for Fatulong FC in Thailand 
and Citro Club for Bahrain before bidding farewell to his football career in 2014. With his eye for goal, many believed he could have been undoubtedly one of the top strikers to lead the Black Stars. Interestingly, he never got the call up to feature for the senior soccer team. It was all too surprising, by a twist of fate, Edouard Mofa found his path in the United States, got enlisted in the U.S. Army in 2019, and retired in 2022. And when he even hung his boots, I felt he hung his boots a bit too early. One thing I can say is this. This is how we lost good players. We don't monitor them. That is the basics. We don't monitor our players. While serving in the U.S. Army, Edouard Mofa got his Associate of Arts at Glendale Community College, Phoenix, Arizona. He later graduated from the University of Maryland Global Campus with a Bachelor of Science in Homeland Security. A father of four lovely children with Mrs. Perla Mofa, the former football star is currently studying for his Master of Business Administration at the University of Maryland Global Campus in the USA.